Hey guys! So, today we are going to answer a subscriber question, so let's get into it. And the questioning question was, Frederick, is games development a good strategy for learning software development and programming in general? Well, this is a great question, because just let me tell you a story. You see, when I first started doing software development, when I was back in my university days, and I sat down in the first day, we had this little session where basically our mentors and our teachers and all these people, they kind of came together, you know, we, we all started talking about the reasons behind going through this education because hey, everybody had taken all the exams and the tests to like apply to the school and you know, you were all accepted, right? So what is the expectations, right? And more than half, I swear to God, more than half of the students in the class said, I want to be a games developer. I want to make computer games. Now, by the, I think, end of the first year, more than half of our students were gone. Like half of the class had already dropped off. By the end of the two years, we were roughly a fourth of all the students left. Why? Well, there's many reasons as to why, but I can tell you from first-hand experience from talking to a few of my, my students, or not my students, but my, my classmates. Basically, the expectation was that software development and games development specifically was easier. Because the thing is, guys, software development is something that is very tricky and games development is something that is even more tricky. Now, let me explain. You see, Games development is a very, very, very niche part of software development. In general, there are a few areas within software development that, you know, are the sort of fields where most people spend their time. That's usually, usually the places where you find the most amount of developers working. So the first and biggest part of software development is web-based programming. In other words, you make web pages. That is one of the biggest job providers to software developers because the web is, as you can imagine, quite, quite massive. There's quite a lot of companies that have a need for it. And that's one part of it. Then you have systems levels programming where you do embedded systems, robotics, engineering type, like more mechanical oriented sorts of programming, operating systems, that sort of thing. Now that is not necessarily as big, but it's also a very big part of software development. And then you have mobile development, which is within all of this fairly new in comparison. And then finally you have games development. And games development is, in my experience, the biggest high, like the most high risk field of programming. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that it is a, like, if you think getting into programming is tricky, games development is even a little bit more tricky because it requires you to be a, even more niche sort of programmer. You, you have to have not only the passion and the interest, you have to learn very specific tools and get really good at those tools in order to be able to effectively work with games development. It's not impossible, it's just that you should know that you really have to give it your all to get good at games development. I mean, most of the really, really large games development companies, they have quite a, like a big need for games developers, but you should know that there's a big difference between making games and playing them. And that's the biggest takeaway from this before I even start talking about whether or not this is a good idea. You see, playing a game is you enjoying the game. But the question is, are you going to have as much fun when you're in charge of animating a single character or like some little tree somewhere or whatever you're going to do within your company over and over and over and over and sitting for days and days and days and just making that thing work and solving bugs and that sort of stuff because you're not going to play the game. You're going to see the game until you're sick of it most likely. It's the same thing for me when I work on my project in the projects that I work on at my job. I mean, for most users, they come maybe, maybe once or twice and use the experience and like enjoy the work that we provide. But I sit on with it on a daily basis. I do it a hundred times. You have not any idea how many times I've purchased or made placed an order 
and back in my at my previous job do you have any idea how many times i purchased a ticket i'm sick to death of purchasing tickets just because i want to get to the end so i can start fiddling with some bug that's on the purchase page it's the same thing with games development now this person kind of had this question about okay so he's learned unity and c sharp and you know gone, gone through that route and whether or not this is going to be a good strategy for becoming a software developer and what i find interesting is that i can actually tell him yes because c sharp for example is a really good introduction to just generic programming so those skills are going to translate to most basically any field that he wants to get into but say unity for example which is for those of you who don't know it it's a games development platform for well not exclusively it's kind of big these days but it's a very very popular tool for games development that allows you to get quite a lot of things for free and it supports multiple languages so you can add things onto your game that is fairly highly like unity is not just some i mean it's not just used for games development there are quite a few companies out there who are like to or are looking for people with that sort of expertise but what i want you to know and what i want you to take away from this little rant of mine is that games development is a super small poor part of software development so when you ask the question is this a good strategy to becoming a software developer yes or no it kind of depends because you will learn, I mean, any type of software development is going to teach you the basics of programming. But the question is, what, what is your goal with learning software development? If it's your goal is to have job security, then games development is not a good idea. Unless, as I said, you're really passionate, you're really into it, and you're really good at it. Because then, you know, once you get your foot in the door and you know your stuff, absolutely. But as a beginner, games development can be pretty rough. Not as rough as, well... Uh, yes, let's just call it rough. It's not it's not on the easy part of the scale The easy part of the scale is usually web development web development is much easier to get into because of you know the size and the need and the demand so There's nothing wrong with using games development to learn software development But you should know that it's very different the skills that you acquire from building games are going to be very different from the skills that you acquire building web pages or traditional enterprise applications and that is not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing but I would personally say that as a games developer I, I would say this as a beginner pursue like start out by learning software development or web-based programmer or something like that so you at least have a fallback so you have the basic under a basic understanding of the skills that you need in order to go into the easier parts of programming so you have job security if it turns out that you're not that you know you're not that into after all games development you like playing games but you may not like to build them and then you can still learn like unity and these things in your spare time because as i said it's a little bit more high risk but there's nothing wrong with using games to learn software development. You can learn software development through, doesn't really matter. As long as you're writing code, you will learn how to write, you know, you're going to learn how to write software, right? So what I want you to take away from this is number one, games development is a highly niched part of software development where you are going to have to work maybe even a little bit harder than most other feeds of programming to get into. Second thing is it is very specialized, which means that the skills that you acquire in order to do proper games development is not necessarily going to be the same skills you're going to need in order to do other sorts of programming. Thirdly, if you're going to go into games development, more power to you, but be like try your best to at least learn basic software development first before you go into that area. So that if it turns out that it's a little bit too rough for you, you have a fallback. Have a great day.